All right, so this tutorial is going to show you how to analyze a video. So the first thing you do is you have to download your video. So right here is the link, and just like the directions say, you have to click on the link with two fingers. Oops, I didn't. And it just opened the video. That's not what I want. So I want to go back here, and I want to click on the link with two fingers so that I get a little menu. And I'm having some trouble doing that. There you go. I click with two fingers, and what I want to do is I want to save link as. That downloads the file to my computer. And it's going to be called Free Fall Golf Ball, and it's going to go to my download folder. So i got to make sure I know where it's going. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to go to Logger Pro. So I'm going to hit the command and the uh, space bar. I'm going to type Logger Pro, and I'm going to open Logger Pro. I'm going to go to the Insert menu and I'm going to go to movie and I'm going to insert a movie. I've got to go to my download folder and find golf ball, there it is right there, and hit open. And this will insert the movie into Logger Pro so that I can analyze it. Okay? So you're going to follow the directions on the checklist, but at the bottom left hand corner here there is a little box that um, opens the toolbar. So you see a toolbar up here on the right hand side here. And what we want to do is specify the scale on this um, video so the computer knows how big things are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the fourth one down. It's right here. And I'm going to draw a line on this meter stick because I know how big that meter stick is. That meter stick right there is a meter or 3.28 feet. So then I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm ready to start collecting data, and you've got to do this part very carefully. The second button down over here is Add Point, and then I'm going to very carefully click on the ball. And after I click on it, it goes to the next frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the ball in every frame of the video. And uh, I'm just going to keep doing this. And if the blue dots get in your way, over here you can click this button right here and it'll make the blue dots go away. But I'm going to just keep clicking on the ball in every frame, tracking it. And of course the computer knows that every frame is 1 30th of a second. So I'm telling the computer where the ball is every 1 30th of a second. And so it can use that to find its velocity. So I'm going to track this ball as it falls. I'm almost done. And then be careful on this part. You want to do a good job and not click crazy. And that's the last one. And you see it doesn't move. That's done. So I'm going to carefully go over here. I'm going to click on the graph. That brings the graph to the foreground. Over here on the axis, I'm going to click and I'm going to choose the Y velocity. And you can see the Y velocity is decreasing. It's going down. So we want to find the slope of that line because this is velocity versus time. And of course the slope of a velocity versus time graph tells us the acceleration. So I'm going to go to the Analyze menu and go to Linear Fit. That will put a line on there and you can see that it found the slope of the line for me. This is a little small, so I'm going to double click on it, go to Appearance and make the font size 20 and then hit OK. And the, here's what I'm after, the slope. The slope is negative 33, so that means that the acceleration is negative or downwards and it's 33 feet per second per second and that's what I'm after. To finish your graph, you're going to go up here and you're going to two finger click. Go to graph options. There's two tabs up here. Click on graph options and put a title on. So this is the relationship between velocity and time for a golf ball. I'm going to click OK and you'll see my graph now has a title. And then you're going to take a screenshot of this, and that screenshot is what you're going to upload to get your points. Okay, so that's how you analyze the video to find the acceleration of the golf ball.